Hey guys, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own digital design and I'm just going to be showing you a basic Christmas ornament, pretty simple. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to walk you through a way to make your own digital design. I'm just going to make some a basic Christmas ornament just to try to keep it kind of easy. But first I'm going to go to the nounproject.com and then we'll use Inkscape. But the nounproject.com has tons of icons that you can use and incorporate into your digital designs. If you end up selling your designs, you will have to pay for these icons just to keep in mind. So I'm just going to type in Christmas tree and select this first one right here. And I'm going to download it as an SVG file. And then save it to my computer. And I'm also going to search for a circle for the ornament itself. You can make your own circle on Inkscape, but I'm just going to use this circle here just to show you. All right, and then we're going to go over to Inkscape and start importing everything. So go to File, Import. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts for that. I'm going to go ahead and import these two objects here. And get the Christmas tree. All right. so. I'm going to make this ornament about four inches. So I'm going to go up here to the sizing toolbar. I'm going to change it to inches. I'm going to lock it right here so it doesn't distort the image. And I'm going to make it four inches. Now I'm going to add no fill to this so it's not doesn't have a fill color. So I'm going to go to object right here. Fill and stroke. Over here, I'm going to select fill, no fill color. Then I'm going to put a stroke paint on it and select stroke paint right here, flat color. But I want that color to be red, so that's just the color I use for cutting. And then I want it to be thinner, so I'm going to go to stroke style and just decrease the thickness of this stroke. I'm going to do the same thing to this Christmas tree, just enlarge it so you can see it. No fill. Put a stroke on it. Red. Stroke style. I'm going to increase this because it's a little too light. Now I'm going to make it a little bit more larger and put it in the center of my ornament. I'm going to hold down my cursor, drag it and select both of these images. I'm going to go to Object, Align and Distribute so that I can align them perfectly. So I'm going to align center on vertical axis over here. Now that they're centered, 
As you can see, if I left it like this, the machine is going to cut all of the lines that it sees. So it'll cut right through the Christmas tree and you won't have a single object. So I'm going to unify it. So I'm going to, again, take my cursor, drag it, select both icons, go up to Object, Ungroup, to make sure they're ungrouped, then go to Path, and Union, right here. So now it is one unified piece, and it should cut properly. Now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to go over here to the left hand side, create and edit text objects. Type in whatever text I want. Go up top here and center the text. Then go over to my align and distribute again that was already open. And well, first we're going to take the selection tool here or select it by dragging and dropping like I did before and then align over here to the right hand side. Now you can center it on the vertical axis between the two items. And I'm just going to move this down. Now it's too big, so I'm going to just go ahead and make it smaller and redo that again. Center. Now it's centered on the axis with the ornament. All right, so now I'm going to keep my text selected, and you can choose whatever font you want by going to text and text and font and it'll come up when you go to type out your text. I'm just going to keep it like this just to keep it simple. Now I'm going to go to path and make it a path, so object to path, otherwise it won't print. And now I'm going to make my color pink for engraving down here. I just personally use pink for engraving so that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to move this down just a little bit more because I'm going to put something else here. So just to show you some score lines, I'm going to create my own score lines and put lights on this tree. So I'm going to go to the left hand side here and draw bezier curves and straight lines icon. Go up here to the top and select this icon here as so it will curve. And as you can see, I'm going to just click wherever I see fit, click right here, then click in the center. You don't have to hold it down, it does it for you. And then click on the side over here and double click it so it stops. Now I'm going to go to my selection tool up here and select it. And now I'm going to change that stroke color down here at the bottom. This is another way to change the stroke color. I use blue, so I'm going to right click set stroke since my stroke color is blue for my Glowforge. And then I'm going to put lights by just adding circles and I'm going to put create circles over here on the left hand side. Draw my own circle. I'm going to select it over here with the selection tool. And I'm going to create a no fill for this. So like I said, you can go over here to the right hand side, fill and stroke and do it like we did before. Select fill and go to X. And I'm going to make this circle even. As you can see up here, it's not perfectly even. So I'm going to unlock it right here and just make it even by 0.37 by 0.37. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock it so it stays that way. It is kind of big, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller but it still stays even since I locked it. I'm going to put a couple more lights here. So I'm going to just control C, control V on my keyboard, just to copy and paste. And 
And I'm going to select all of these to make them a little more even. So I'll hold down my shift key and click on each one. That's another way to select items. Go to my line and distribute. And over here on distribute, I'm going to make horizontal gaps between objects equal. And I'm just going to move it over a little bit. So we're going to select them again just to scoot it over a little bit. There we go. All right, and now for the last thing, I'm going to make the top circle up here with a hole in it so that you can put a ribbon through it. So I'm going to go over to cir create circles over here. Again, just make my own circle. Go to my selection tool after I, I drew it. And for this, I'm going to unlock it over here to make it even again. And then lock it once it's the way I want it. Make it a little bit smaller. Oh, I didn't lock it apparently. Here we go. All right. Then I'm going to put this, just overlap just slightly on the ornament itself. I'm going to hold down and click shift and select my ornament so that I can align them properly. So go back to align and distribute over here and center on vertical axis. It was pretty close, so didn't move too much. I'm going to make this stroke color red just to keep it consistent. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to just do it. Right click, set stroke. Now I'm going to hold down shift while that is selected and select my ornament. Go to object, ungroup, and then path and union. Now that is one piece. Now I'm going to make one more little circle just to put it at the center. Could have copied and pasted that other circle and just made it smaller. Either way. And now I'm going to put this at the center here. I'm going to align it on the vertical axis again. It's pretty good. So now it has a cutout for the ribbon or whatever you use. Now I'm going to go ahead and group it all together by holding down my cursor, dragging it, and selecting everything at once. Going up to Object and Group. Now I'm going to save it to my computer. And you can save it as Inkscape SVG, plain SVG, or any, there's a bunch of other files here, formats here, but I'm just going to do Inkscape. It works fine. Then I'm going to go over to my Glowforge app and import. And I'm going to print this on medium draft board just because I have a lot of it and wanted to use it. So I'm just going to make sure everything is good. So the engraving is the Oh Christmas tree. This should be score. So I'm going to set it to score for the lights because I'm going to paint those. And then these two are cut. So let's go ahead and print it. All right, again, that was just a pretty basic Christmas ornament design that I just made up really quickly just to show you. Um, if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge, please feel free to use my referral code listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus, me and my family would get credits too, which we truly appreciate. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and thanks for watching.